Right, put them down to the bottom of my property. Hammer them down here. Turn an age. And I suspect it's a real mess. Um, so we're going to bring this down and just clear up a little bit. Because uh, the place is going on the market shortly. And I want to make sure that people can actually walk down and see the river and stuff. So we'll just uh, see how this performs. This is the new one I've got. Um, 634 grams um, sharpened by me. Um, heritage knives based on a blade in the early part of last century they, they think there's some debate about you know exactly where it comes from and who made it and such forth um, but it's certainly a, a long blade intended for use so I'm going to quickly see how it goes and uh, the thing with this one is that um, it's long and light so it's longer than my other ones um, not as light as some but lighter than others and the extra length just gives you more, more reach, obviously. Um, change the dynamic a little bit. Um, see how it goes. This area is quite overgrown. Really hasn't been looked after for a long time. So. and see where we get up to and what we discover. So there's a lot of this stuff here. Whitey wood. Um, I don't really care for it. This one however is a lance wood. I do think that's quite a nice one. But what I really want is someone who wants to wander down here to discover the fact that at the bottom of the property is river and unless I make some sort of a track through the undergrowth growth I'm not gonna realise that one of the reasons I'm selling this place or the reselling the place being sold is that it's quite big, but um, doesn't get used. So I'm going to buy a different place. Smaller place, um, and. We're going to be buying two places, so we'll be going our separate ways. Uh, it's okay. People change, things change. So, what have we got here? The bank. And this is a drop down to the river. Um, oh, some big, big, really big. Uh, trees around here. I'm not sure what the best way to get down there is anymore. Uh, uh. So this slices quite nicely. Um, let's see the extra length changes the dynamic a little bit. This would have been a big knife, um, the Nepalese, although 
I suspect these ones aren't quite as thin as this because this one's got quite the distal taper um, but a nice big broad belly. I like the shape. The handle is an absolute traditional um, style handle. Uh, rat tail it goes all the way through. You can see the, the bit right there where it kind of terminates and then it's got this cap over the end so that it doesn't chip. Uh, and, uh, works, works well. Does what it's supposed to do. And it's, it's a fairly comfortable. Not super comfortable to my hand because it's not really the shape I'm used to holding, but it feels secure in the hand and doesn't have the same hot spot that the Mark 1 does, but it's still not the most comfortable handle in the world. I think my M43 it doesn't have a traditional handle, it's got a westernized handle, it's probably the most comfortable one. But down there, you can just see it glistening away, is the river. Maybe a creek, a stream would be a um, better description of it. Down there it's also got a huge, quite friendly eel. Um, you can go up and toss a little bit of bread and it comes right up to you and um, gets quite interested when you try and tiptoe across over the water. Um, yeah, it's a nice little spot. I own all the way down this ridge, down to the bank and down up the other side where you can see someone's laid a pipe of some description and along up somewhere there, which is kind of pointless because you can't, um, can't build on it, you can't use it for anything much, it would take an awful lot of effort to try and fence it if you were going to do that if you are feeling so inclined. Um, So, what it's actually good for is uh, open to debate, but it's there, it's mine now, um, yeah. Got the real estate agent coming around today to price it up and then we'll sell it and we'll go our separate ways. <sighs> In the meantime, I'll just uh, get a little bit of this knife just uh, in case someone wants to come down here and have a look to see what I'm offering. So like I said, this is the Heritage, also known as Killer Tools Cookery. Um, they call it the Papu on their website. Um, people have argued that it's not a Papu cookery and that that's just a mistranslation of a maker's mark. Um, papu is their word for master, I believe. So, um, they, uh, might have got that wrong and might have got it right um, it's one of those things which has kind of lost to the annals of time but yeah certainly a handy cookery it's got a good weight works well as a machete um, not a very traditional uh, Make, made out of 5160. Um, the difference that they have, watch my uh, Kylish M43 has as well, is that they actually use oil and proper tempering and uh, quenching techniques. 
The difference is that these guys get in fresh virgin steel, whereas the other people use um, recycled leaf springs, but it's still the same, same steel. So yeah, I would uh, recommend this if you wanted a long, light, agile. Okay. Cheers guys.